How to add admin on Facebook page. In this video, I will be showing you how to add an admin on a Facebook page. Adding an admin is useful if you want someone else to help manage your page. For example, if you run a business, a friend employee or social media manager can take care of posts, messages and settings for you. I will walk you through the process and also explain the different roles available. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to log into the Facebook account that owns the page. So like you always would, you're going to go to your browser and then you're going to type in facebook.com. You're going to visit Facebook. You're going to log in to your account. All right. So I have logged into my Facebook account. And now what you're going to do from here is you're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to go down from here. So you're going to go over here and this little flag over here, you're going to click on that and then you will be taken to your page. So it says over here pages that you manage. So this is the page that I manage. So in order to make these changes or add an admin, you need to to already be an admin in order to add someone else you must be a page owner or already an admin so because i own this page i can add admins to this page or if i had made another admin that person could have added further admins and then over here on the left side you're going to see that at the very top you have the meta business suite so in order to make any changes to your page if you want to manage your page professionally you want to assign any admins or you want to assign different jobs to people who are going to manage your page then you're going to go over here to meta business suite meta business suite is the best option that would help you manage your page in a very professional and organized manner so we're just going to go here and click on that all right, so here we are at the Meta Business Suite. Now from over here, we can manage our page in a very organized and professional way. So we're going to go down um, over here. You can create a post, you can create ad, create reels, create story and more. There are a lot of other options such as going live. And then there is bulk upload reels and then bulk upload videos. So you can do that for your page and help your page grow even faster or start sending out content much faster and more much more conveniently as well. Now, as you go down, Meta is also going to help you grow your audience um, by helping you build your audience. So you can get started here and you can start doing that as well. You can also manage your marketing content. You can have a planner, you can decide your posts and reels, and you can decide your stories. So this is going to help you with that. You can also get in touch with your ads, the recent ads that you want to include. So you can create ads. And as you grow, you can keep exploring more. So the feature that we are here for is this one. So it says assign, edit or remove access for your collaborators. So you need other people to collaborate and organize your page with you. So you need some help. You need other collaborators to, and give them access to your page so they can manage your page for you. So this is the feature that we need for that. You need to create a business portfolio. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So you're going to click on to create business portfolio and over here you're going to input all of the required information so what you need to put in first of all is your business portfolio name so you're going to type in your portfolio name then you're going to enter your contact information which is your first name and then your last name so you're going to enter that information and then you need to enter your business email after entering your business email you're just going to click on create and then you will have created your business portfolio and you will be allowed to easily use these features and these tools and then i'll show you how you are going to proceed with the rest of the setup all right, so I have entered in all of my required information and now I'm going to click on create. And then once you hit create, this is what shows up. The business portfolio has been created. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and read what it says. It says to add your Facebook pages and, and Instagram accounts as assets so you can manage this in the business portfolio. So you can select relevant business assets or you can edit this section later. So I'm just going to skip that and we're going to move on forward. So over here, when you click next, Next, you get this option now it says over here right against my name and email that i have full control over the page right so it says that the following people already help manage the facebook pages and instagram accounts that you are claiming this business portfolio and then uh, you can begin managing the same things in meta once you add those people to this business so now right now it is just me and then i have add another person by email so i can enter in an email address and then whoever's email address i add they're going to have admin access access to a Facebook page. 
So you're just going to simply enter in the email address and then over here you can decide what they're going to do. If you want to give them full control, you can do that as well or you can just keep them as an employee. And then you're going to decide even further what kind of information is going to be included. So you're going to enter in the email address and once you enter the email address, um, they will be sent an invitation and once they accept that invitation, then they will start managing your account for you or your page for you. So you can also review the people's access what kind of access they're going to have to your account you can review and edit people's access to business assets in business settings so all of this that i am doing here this is just uh, them guiding us step by step along the way but even if you skip this you can go ahead and you can do this in the business settings section later so i'm just going to click on next over here all right, so after creating your business portfolio, you're going to come back here and you're going to go to the top left corner over here and click on this arrow. Here you will see your business portfolio. So you're going to click on this and then you're going to go to settings. So over here you have your business portfolio and over here it says pages. Now this is the place where you are going to add whatever pages that you want to add and you are going to assign other people such as um, a different admins to help you manage your page so those people who you give access to to your pages in helping you manage them uh, that would be the admins so you're just going to give them admin access or if you give them complete access that is admin access if you give them limited access then that is not admin but that is partial access which you will be giving them so you can do that as well so over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on add over here and i'm going to add my page so over here it says you can either add an existing Facebook page or you can create a new Facebook page. So, so I already have an existing Facebook page so I'm going to click on that. So I'm just going to type in, I have to find the existing page. I'm just going to type in my page name and there it is. It's showing up so I'm just going to select that. And over here it says someone with full control of the page must approve this request which I do have full control over so I can approve that request. And then when it's been approved you can add people to help manage the page content ads insights messages comments settings and permissions so i'm just going to click on next over here and then it says review people with page access the following people have access to the page and are already in the business portfolio so people with access to this page so it says over here it's telling me who already has access to it so i'm just going to click on next and then it says review and send request your request add this page to the business portfolio you have full control of the business portfolio uh, you're requested to add the page it will be approved automatically and then you just click on add page and there you go the page has been successfully added and now you can add even more people to help you manage your page now this is the page over here it has been added to the list here you can view it on facebook or you can remove it now also over here what you can do the thing that we set out to do here is you can assign people you can assign partner and you can connect assets what it says down here is that one person is assigned to this facebook page so you can assign people to the page and manage assignments and and remove them so there's only one person with full control that is me so up here i'm going to assign people and i'm going to give them access to this page so they can help me out now up here it says assign people and select people so i'm just going to type in and you can type in whatever person that you want to add you're going to type in their name or their email address and then they are going to for example i'll just select my name here so we can see what kind of options are going to appear here so you can give either partial access to them and you can just click on whatever specific thing that you want to give them access to you could either give them access to the content so they can create manage or delete posts stories and more uh, as the page and protect your copyright content so you could either give them access to that you could give them access to community activity so they can review and respond to comments remove unwanted content and report activity so you could do that or you could go down, you could give them access to insights so they can see how the page content and the ads are performing. Uh, you can also give partial access to content and messages. Or you can go down and you can give them full control over the business world and Facebook. So this is everything. Uh, which is going to switch into the page to manage everything directly on Facebook and on business tools. So this is complete access. So you can completely decide and according to your preference, you can 
completely manage and control exactly how much access you want to give somebody of your own page so if you do this you can give them access to everything and everything up here gets ticked off so they're going to get access to everything and then you're going to assign people you're going to click on assign people and once you click assign people that person is going to get sent an email and uh, which if they accept the request of so they're going to have to accept the request and once they accept it the people are going to appear right over here just like this so if you have more than one person with control there is going to be more than one person labeled here and you're going to have a list over here with different kinds of access and this is not going to be any kind of permanent access you have over here the manage button delete button uh, you can delete access whenever you want or as soon as you want you can also manage and change what kind of access they have so you can be very comfortable and remain relaxed and uh, pretty secure that your page is secure and you can change whatever settings you want at any time and you are in full control of your page while you are still not doing all the work you have people to help you out and they're managing your page for you but you can still access it and control it according to your preference without any kind of compromise to your security and privacy now you want to remember to only give admin access to people you trust completely and admin has the same power as you including the ability to remove you so if you are working with a team it is safer to give editor or moderator roles instead keep track of who has access by reviewing your page rules regularly so by going into the page rules and new page access inviting someone and then choosing their roles you can easily share management responsibilities uh, adding admins makes it much easier to run a page as a team while still keeping control of who has access so that is it that is how to add an admin on a facebook page